Hello YouTube, this is Benza from Volumoto Customs. Thank you so much for joining again. When it comes to custom motorcycle building, it's inevitable that you're gonna have to make a lot of custom parts and this is where 3D printing comes in. Not as a final product, although sometimes it can be, but as a testing or prototyping method where you can do multiple iterations of cheap manufacturing before you have to commit to an expensive machining of a specific part out of the final material steel or aluminium based on the specific application you need. In this video we're gonna take a look at my R80 build and the mock-up of the fork swap. For this build I'm gonna use a set of KTM forks with a single-sided disc brake and a very large 320mm brake disc. So this requires me to make quite a few parts from frame extension to brake disc adapter to wheel spacers and let's get into it. Since I decided to keep the KTM triple tree, the BMW frame needs some modifications along with custom wheel spacers and the custom brake disc adapter to pair the disc and the snowflake BMW wheel together. In addition, the larger brake disc requires that custom caliper spacers and bolts have to be used. Let's take it from the top. Triple tree and top yoke to match up with the frame. I'm using the KTM's original steering stem, but to match up with the frame I had to press on a different sized steering head bearing. Fortunately, the needed size is widely used in other bikes. I took a set of Suzuki RM250 bearings that were the correct size, 25 by 52 by 16 millimeters. The problem stems from, pun intended, the steering stem being quite a bit longer from the original BMW. In 46 Works Motor Goods 11's build, Shiro had cut, up, cut off the top of the steering tube and welded a custom machine piece to lengthen it. I don't want to go this route as I feel too many opportunities for mistakes and misalignment are present and my skills are not as good as his to make sure I avoid them. Instead, I'm going to get an adapter manufacturer that will be pressed in place of the steering head bearing outer race and then the bearing outer race will be pressed into this custom piece. And then this piece is gonna be welded together with the steering tube. This is where 3D printed test piece comes into play and the ease of designing and printing multiple iterations until I get to the final measurements that will be used for production of the metal part. When the triple tree is installed, the forks can be put in place, which brings us to the next problem, fitting the wheel. This fork comes with a 15mm diameter front spindle, which is one of the reasons I chose it, since this makes it possible to use the factory size bearings in the BMW wheel with custom made spacers bushings. The spacers I need to make will center the wheel between the forks, as well as make sure that the tapered bearings can be preloaded correctly using the front spindle. The last piece of this puzzle is installing the large 320mm brake disc on the wheel with the correct offset, which is very important, as well as spacing the caliper to fit the disc. For the caliper spacing, I purchased some CNC machine stainless steel spacers and a pair of titanium flange bolts with the correct length. Mounting the brake disc, however, is a different case entirely. I need to make sure that my measurements and calculations are precise so when the disc is installed with the custom adapter it will be centered between the caliper faces and the adapter itself is manufactured with the right tolerances so the disc runs through. The disc adapter should fit onto the wheel just as the original disc did with it being centered as well as sitting on the mating surface of the wheel. The disc then should fit onto the adapter with a centering ring and be bolted down using fitted bolts with the bolt shank precisely fitting both the disc and the adapter. The adapter itself is mounted to the wheel using through bolts just as the original brake discs, but instead of another disc being on the other side, I designed a matching piece with internal treading, which the bolt can then be tightened to, and it completes the adapter for a factory look. As you can see, you can achieve quite a lot with 3D printing. Using this method, I was able to produce these parts quite inexpensively, to test out different ideas, different designs, before having to commit to your final dimensions and final product to be machined out of the final material, which can be quite expensive. 
Of course, there are always some drawbacks. One of the issues with this method is that most common printers won't achieve very high precision, so you need to account for that in your final dimensioning. But still, if you're working in a field where custom solutions are needed, I would highly recommend you get a 3D printer and learn how to use it. You can save a lot of time and a lot of money designing and test fitting parts quickly, which otherwise require costly manufacturing and sometimes long turnaround time. I hope you enjoyed the video. As soon as I have the final parts in house, I'm going to make an update video for the BMW playlist. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check back later. I hope you have a good one. Bye.